The Zego Control Point comes with a powerful graphics editor to build planned graphics, room operation interfaces, dashboards, as well as any other graphic that you would like to build, all of it entirely in HTML5. The customization options that the editor provides are essentially endless. You can completely free draw your planned graphics, you can stream in video feeds, you can create your own custom animated graphics components, etc. etc. For starters, let's have a look at a simple planned graphic of an air handling unit. Such graphics, we call them super samples, come preloaded with the Zico control point. While it is great to have such standard graphics for efficiency, in many cases it will be necessary to customize them. Doing so with the Zico control point is extremely easy. This is because the graphics editor comes embedded on the Zico control point devices, which allows you to perform the engineering completely online via web browser. So let's have a look at this. What we see here is the air handling unit graphic in the web browser. And in order to edit it, we simply hit Tools, Manage Graphics, and Edit. Upon which the graphic will open in the editor in a new tab of the browser. Now let's have a closer look at this editor. The centerpiece of it is the graphics editing canvas which shows the air handling unit with all its components. And on top of the canvas, there is a toolbar with common operations such as save, undo and redo, as well as copy and paste. In the left-hand side of the editor, we see two additional editor panes, the upper one of which currently shows the library of graphics components, and the lower one shows the properties of any component that we select on the canvas. Those two panes on the left hand side can be flexibly assigned. I can for example by clicking this little icon here assign the lower pane to also show the graphics components library or I can assign it to show the data points here called equipments that we have in the system and there we of course also find the data of our air handling unit that we are interested in. Let's now modify this graphic. As you will have noted, it only contains a preheater and we will now add a cooling coil to it. In order to add the cooling coil most efficiently, we select the heating coil, we hit copy, and then we move the heating coil a few centimeters to the left before we paste again and now we see we have two heating coils on the screen. Now of course we want to turn this heating coil in a cooling coil so what we do is we first ungroup it such that we can edit the single components then we go to the properties editor to show the properties of the left hand side pipe and change it into a chilled water pipe which then is in front of the other graphics components so we have to do some rearranging of the components and in particular move the pump and the valve to the front and then we almost have a cooling coil the only thing that we need to change is the cooling coil register component and that one I can look up conveniently via text search in the graphics component library and I can add that component via drag and drop to the canvas and I can move it to the right place and now I have something that already looks like a cooling coil and of course this cooling coil is now not connected to the automation data from the system yet for this I move back the points database. I look up the cooling coil in my data structure and I can simply via drag and drop assign the points to its corresponding component. So here we see the valve which I bind to the label of the valve and the graphic valve component itself. And similarly I do with the pump command 
I assign it to the label and I assign it to the pump component itself and we're done. The only thing left for us to do is that we save the graphic and verify its functionality in operation. In order to do that and in order to keep the super sample graphic that is the original, we save this graphic as a new one by clicking on the J2FIN4 icon and hitting Save as Graphic. In the dialog that comes up, we give this graphic a new name. I'll call it the same as the old one with cooling in the end. And I save it. The last thing that we'll do is we'll verify the functionality of the graphic and we will do this right on the touch panel. So here we still see the standard graphic with heating only, but if we navigate back to our air handling unit, we notice our new graphic with the cooling right underneath the standard one. We tap to open it and we see our graphic on screen with heating and cooling coil, data bound, fully operational. So we've seen that modifying the Seagull control point graphics is extremely easy and intuitive and this will save you a lot of engineering time. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.